Okay, I just pulled out three cards this morning. <clears throat> and the first thing that came out was the Uncharted Sea. Okay. We don't always have a map. Okay. Um, and we're out here on the journey. Sometimes it can feel like the waters are pretty rough. Sometimes we get some calm waters and, and we're fine. We go forward. But, uh, yeah, we're on our, our journey. Second card I got was the Eternal Light of Love. Okay. So if we're going to make the journey, the best thing to have is that love. You know, everything that comes from Godhood, the divine is, is basically love. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, what I pulled out was a pattern. <laughs> okay. If we're going to have a pattern for our life, first and foremost should be that of the eternal light of love. Know that we are, you know, no matter how difficult it is, we're never alone. We have those on the other side that are watching for us, trying to communicate with us. You know, um, they're there, you know, we, but we have to call on them, you know, because you have every right to be an ego, do it yourself, um, if you so choose, <clears throat> which a lot of people do. And, uh, you know, they, they shut out that light of love. Okay. Now, it can be our own fear mode and, and those types of things that make it seem as if we are alone. But truly, we are really never alone. That, that light is there. If you have... <clears throat> And that's what's so freeing up about realization. When the, the idea of a me dismantles, then one <clears throat> finds themselves in the midst of this <clears throat> eternal light of love, this divine is. <clears throat> I call it the divine is because so many... <clears throat> want to say God is a he and God is this and God is that. God is a spirit, okay? God isn't, uh, you know, some old guy sitting there on a throne, you know, and people say that, oh, God is so entranced with everything that I do, you know, and they think if they want to um, turn their face to God, that God's going to be so enamored <laughs> with their flattery and their attention that, that God should be just like this big Santa Claus and give them everything they want. Okay. And a lot of people have a lot of weird ideas about God, Godhood, the divine is. Okay. So somebody was asking, and this might be a good time to bring this in, was asking, well, if God is, why does God allow all these things to happen? Okay, why does God allow evil? Why does God allow this? Why does God allow that? Because you have free will. If God didn't allow these things, you'd be a puppet. Do you want to be a puppet? Or do you want free will? Okay, everybody screams they want free will, they want to make their own choices, but then it's, well, why does God allow this? Why does God allow that? How come if it's a God of good, how come these things are, well, God didn't create evil. Evil comes out of man's own throwing a wrench in the works. You know, like I've, I've explained a number of times, Satan wasn't created evil, okay? Satan was the head of the heavenly choir, okay? But what happened was he fell, took a third of the angels with him because he wanted 
didn't want to give God the glory anymore. He wanted it for himself. He wanted to be separate. He wanted, you know, same thing. You, you read the story of the Garden of Eden, and they had everything in the garden. Okay? But they were innocent. Okay? If they would have stayed in the garden, stayed in that innocence, they didn't know they were naked. They didn't know they were, they were innocent. They chose to eat of the tree of what? Good and evil. All they had was good, but they wanted to find out what evil is. They wanted to see the shadow. What's the other side? That was their choice, free will. Okay? Free will. Okay? And so that's why we have those things here, okay? Thank God they're transient, they're temporary. These are not the eternal truths. But yeah, you want to find out what it is, okay? Then, then here you go. So if you want to get back to Godhood, you want to get back to there, then again, you know, the divine light of love is the best way to go. Okay? So hold to that light of love. Yes, I know sometimes it's really difficult. Why do these things happen? Well, this is a learning. This is school. School 101. People come here to experience, to learn. And, you know, this is a school of hard knocks. We learn the hard way over here more often than not. Um, just like we need to learn that global warming is not a, you know, it's not a fake. It's not a farce. It's, it's real. And the more global warming, like I said this last year, a lot more fires are happening in, and I wish I had been wrong about that. People were asking about earthquakes. Hey, forget earthquakes. Worry about fires. Okay. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, this is going to continue to be the trend until we get a handle on things and really start taking global warming seriously. Um, at this time, we really have to have as much love as is possible to get through these times. I just see here in the, this morning that uh, Trump's relishes his role as a divider and he vows to be vicious. Okay. He vows to be vicious. So he knows. Lies, deceit, viciousness, you know. He can't actually, he doesn't, he hasn't served his country. He's a liar. He's a, you know. He calls those that go to the Vietnam War fools. Okay. He was so smart. He got his daddy to pay for fake things so he could get out of serving in the country. Okay. He told his kids, if you sign up for the military, I'm disowning you. Okay, this is this is the commander in chief for the military. Okay. He says one thing out of the side of his mouth. He doesn't mean a word of it, and people continue to get taken in by him. Okay. So all we can do is have compassion. For those that are blind, that are following him, for Lord only knows what reason. <laughs> I've seen more and more popping up now this uh, on YouTube, this thing, the real, something, the reality or something, and, you know, so... Russia's really putting in all they can on here. I keep finding one after another after another. Uh, Hillary's going to be jailed and all this stuff. And, you know, they're going down. And, and all this drama is coming up on there now. Um, 
they started in 2015. So it's one of the Russian things. And then we get those that pick it up, you know, the QAnon thing. All of these things are these dark elements trying to get the upper hand so they can continue to skew things. Like I said, Putin wants to ruin this country from the inside out. Same as, uh, what's his name that was with Breitbart that's now, oh, Steve Bannon. Steve Miller, you know, former Nazi. Last life he was a former Nazi. He still acts like a Nazi. Even though he's a Jew, they make him a Jew this time. It's like, can you, can you learn a little empathy now for Jews? We'll make you a Jew this time around. No. He's still in the Nazi mode, still in the Nazi framework of mind. Um, so, no, he hasn't learned his lesson. He's going to have to have a more extreme one next time around. Oh, mercy. So, you know, all of these things are continuing to cycle with this nonsense. Um, more of this egregious... You know, the Bible talks about these things, you know, that in the end they will call the light dark and the dark light. Well, that's what these Trump things are doing. You know, this is all that Trump knows how to do. He tells on himself all the time. Everything he projects to somebody else is what he's doing behind the scenes. You want to know what he's doing? Then look what he accuses the Democrats of, okay? He has so many tells, okay? So, yeah, I mean, you know, more and more of this stuff is got to, is going to keep coming up, but don't let it get you discouraged, okay? Uh, know that these are coming from the father of lies, ego, Satan, whatever you want to call it, Okay? And it's a shadow. It's pulled away from the light, which gives it meaning. So don't um, take these things as they are going to be the end all and be all. And it's going to upend truth forever. It's not. It can't. Okay. It may seem to have some power for a time, but it's limited. Okay. But you have to, you know, we have to stand up against it. You don't have to be in fear of it. In fear, that's what, it, you know, this is how these shadow elements work. They want to try to put you in fear, you know. That's why you have to continue to, to have to hold to love, hold to that divine is, okay. Hold to that God energy. Okay. If you've ever experienced it, you would understand why karma has to be in place. It is as a natural law of things because the divine is, is perfection. Okay. So that imperfection cannot last forever. Okay. It's going to continue to be pulled, pulled back. Okay. So just hold to that divine love and know that it's there. You may not always feel it, but it is there, okay? You have the readers here. We're all working towards light. Well, 99%. I've seen a few readers on there that are reading dark for the dark side. <laughs> we'll put it that way. But most of the readers, you know, when there are new ones coming up all the time, I ran into some new ones, you know, that are doing a great job out there. Okay, so hold to the light. Know that this too will pass. We, but doesn't mean that you can sit back and be oblivious and do nothing. No, now is the time for us to stand up. Just like, you know, when Hitler was there and was doing all these atrocities, they had to stand up, you know. We had to fight against it. We had to hold the line for truth. 
if we would have turned a blind eye, he would have killed everybody. You know, not only not only Jews, but he was also killing um, gays. He was, you know, there were a number of people. It wasn't just Jews, but you know, mostly we hear about the Jewish, but there were a number that he wanted to exterminate. Okay. This is the same as these, you know, white supremacist wannabe failed people that, you know, out against anybody of color. Okay. So it comes out of their failing and their fear. Um, same thing with uh, Hitler. I'm sure that he was... Uh, in fear and he was feeling lack because they outshined him as far as intelligence okay so he felt threatened so he's going to get rid of them it's the same thing as trump okay the same type of mentality they feel threatened they can't do it trump is so threatened by obama why he hired somebody to sit in there that he could he could downgrade and and you know try to diminish because he so failed in himself okay so maybe these are the kind of people that that hold to trump ones that are feeling failed within themselves so he's their big champion okay acting out now he's given them permission to act out, be the worst they can be, and claim it's the best. Claiming they're patriotic. Okay, they're not patriotic. Okay. Patriotism is loving this country, and this country was founded to be a melting pot of diversity. So if you're saying you're a patriot and you're a white supremacist wannabe, then you don't, you're not a patriot. You don't love this country, okay? People that love this country want the melting pot. They want the diversity. They, you know, enjoy someone else's differences. And each person that comes can bring something to this country, okay? Those are true patriots, okay? The ones that you know, were military and, and fought for this country, it's not somebody that puts a big ass flag in the back of their truck and runs around with a Trump sign on it. Okay, that's not a patriot. Okay, that's a, a Trump club, a Trump um, clique. Okay, so let them have their ridiculousness. Let them misappropriate flags. Let them misappropriate these things because you've got to feel sorry for them a bit because they are failed people running in fear. Okay? And that's what it does, too. You know, they, they have to, um, rather than being down to earth, they have to bomb blast. Just like, you know, just like you hear the tangerine tyrant doing all the time. Everything's best, the greatest. It's, you know, they try to blow smoke up people's butt. That's how he got Michael Cohen in there. You know, you just use flattery and this and that to get what you want. And then the minute they do something, you're, you know, you, you're blasting them. Okay. So, you know, all you can do is feel sorry for them, pity them for a time, and hope they wake up. Now, right, Mr. Max? What do you think, Mr. Max? Hmm? What do you think? What do you think about that, Mr. Max? <laughs> and Mr. Max is waiting to go ride in a car. That's what he's waiting for. I know. I know what you want. <laughs> Monkey? Yes, I know. So anyway, I'm going to leave this here, but, you know, we're on uncharted seas. If we're going to go forward, use the pattern of divine love, okay? Hold to that. Hold to the good. Hold to the light. Don't get caught up in shadows and pulled away and fighting for some cause that's not real. 
Don't exchange the dark for light and light for dark, okay? Don't call the, the dark good and the light evil, okay? Um, don't be one of these evangelicals, evil angels following power, following sex, and then try to cover it over and mask it, okay? Be a person of integrity. Like I said, live it with honesty, integrity, transparency, and sacredness, and you can't go wrong. And it doesn't matter what somebody else wants to try to put on you and try to smear you and try to, you know, come out with their lies. People may believe it for a time, but eventually they're going to see what's, what's what, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light to everyone. Countdown is on. Um, tomorrow I'll find out when the uh, when I get the sign. And then I guess, you know, the keys may get held up for another day. I don't know. Uh, until the, the, they get the funding. So I don't know if you bring a cashier's check, if it gets funded right away, or if you got to wait for the bank to clear it or what. I don't know. All I know is <laughs> all I want to do is get in the house. <laughs> That's all I want to do. <laughs> I do feel better today. I finally bit the bullet and said I can't take any more. And I went and got a hotel room last evening. I didn't stay there. I just went in and took a bath. That's all I wanted. I want a bath. <laughs> Sponge baths for the last year is not cutting it, you know. Uh, it works. I mean, it keeps you clean, but you just you want a bath. <laughs> That's all I wanted was a bath. So I bit the bullet, paid the money, got a hotel room, went in, took my bath, relaxed for a few minutes, came out, came back over here with Mr. Max, and uh, does feel better today. It was just, you know, yeah. So on that note, I'm going to take Mr. Max, and we're going to go ride the car and get my coffee. He says, and my puppuccino, don't forget about my puppuccino. The most important is the puppuccino. He loves his puppuccino in the morning. So we're going to go do that. But thanks for tuning in. And uh, much love and light. And again, hold to the light. Hold to the truth. Don't go down these rabbit holes of insanity. And mercy. And again, understand where these people are coming from. They are... Uh, they want something they can try to champion. They feel failed in their lives. Um, they've been run on fear. Okay. And that's all that's all Trump knows how to do. Fear. Divide. Okay. That's it. I I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a person ruled by fear. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light. Thank you for spending some time with me this morning. And let's go forward step by step.